Okay, really quick, this is an update on my previous video about my Picade Mini build. Um, externally, it's pretty much the same. I've had it for a couple weeks now and taken it to work and shut it around and everything works, seems to be working really well. Um, get the uh, right on this. Uh, so, quickly inside, also pretty much the same. Uh, I've cleaned it up a little bit, so as you can see, there's the only thing that it, you know, this problem is HDMI cable was giving me uh, issues before. Uh, it kept I kept having to reach in and, and push it off to the side, otherwise the door wouldn't close. Um, now I've got I've got the mouse gray switch over here mounted uh, with just some double-sided sticky pad there. Uh, I've got the uh, USB hub also stuck to the Raspberry Pi just to get it out of the way. Um, all the wires down here are all nice and uh, uh, wound up. Um, especially the wire for the uh, uh, Ethernet was really, really long before. Um, and so, as I said, we was coil out of the way after running around somewhere. Um, and then here's the wire going to the. Uh, Going down into the Picade controller. Um, now, yeah. So otherwise, the hardware is is, is pretty much identical. I haven't had any problems. Uh, I just needed to uh, clean up the wiring a little bit in here so that uh, I can open and close the door a lot easier. So now I can go ahead and just shut this and snap shut, and everything's good to go. All right, so. Let me get power jack. Um, let me turn this back around. Um, the bigger thing that I worked on is the software. Um, I uh, went ahead and finally got around to updating to the latest version of RetroPie and uh, tweaking a little bit more and now I've got everything pretty much exactly where I want it. I don't imagine I ever need to update this again. Um, I haven't had any problems so let me just start it up. So right in the pie. See I got the nice new uh, Picade logo there um, as a splash screen. Uh, I realized that I had the wrong resolution set on the monitor. It was widescreen 720 by 480 instead of 640 by 480. And there's a 4 screen, four three screen, so... Uh, I, it turned out that all my games were a little bit squished, and I didn't notice it. Uh, but now that I'm using straight up VGA, uh, everything looks a little bit nicer, and everything seems to be the correct proportions. Um, I went through and removed all of the extraneous stuff that weren't old console emulators. Uh, because that's all I ever really want to play anyway. So you see we got Atari here. Still got that speaker issue, but um, I'll turn up the volume anyway just so I can get better sound. The speakers are good enough, but if you ever listen to a real arcade machine speakers, uh, most games sounded pretty bad anyway because it was a very loud environment. Um, so I'm not really using this to have nostalgia about old uh, sound. Um, so I've got Atari, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, um, MAME. So uh, I'll, I'll come back to this in a second, but I uh, finally got MAME working. Um, Nintendo, Master System. There's still a few ROMs that don't work, but I think it's just the ROMs, not the actual emulator. Um, Sega Genesis, I'll come to that in a second. Uh, Super Nintendo, and we're back. So first, let me let me go to Sega Genesis. So the problem I had before was that the old version of uh, the emulator only supported three buttons, and save states didn't work, or a bunch of other stuff. That's all been fixed. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and show. Like, let me jump down to. Obviously, I showed Sonic in the last video, so it only makes sense that I. Launch some Sonic uh, 2 for this video. So 
this is just to show the new Sound is great, everything is still can't play one handed very well, but um yeah. The other thing I did was I went through and I enabled all the, the menu stuff, so if I do this, um that brings up the uh RetroArc emulator which lets me do all the save state and stuff, so if I want I can do now finally you know save state. This is the enter button, right? And then if I jump over here and then go back to load state, okay, that doesn't work. All right, if I do, um, oh, so if I hit my control, and I've also mapped this key to be load. There we go, and it loads back to where it was before. Anyway, so, yeah, those hotkeys work now. Um, I saw the same way of exiting where I can uh, drop all the way back down to here and exit out. Uh, so, save state's working is, is good. Um, the other thing is six buttons. So, Six button support works. You have to do uh, an extra config file that you need to modify. Um, but once I did that uh, and remapped the Ninten Super Nintendo style controls uh, so that it it uh, would map properly the six buttons on the Genesis, because the way it maps it is on the Super Nintendo you go X B or Y B A is A B C, and then L X, R is X, Y, Z, um, which is fine for three button games, I guess, uh, but six button games make kind of weird, especially like Street Fighter. Um, so, just to prove this works. Yeah, everything's now, now all the resolutions are, are, are perfect. Like this, as you can tell, it's, it's a full 4.3 because it's actually, you know, for that, but then the game is the right, you know, so I have got, you know, punches and kicks. Yeah, so I have all, all six buttons work. Um, so, that solves my need for getting Street Fighter 2 and Eternal Champions and all those great six button Genesis games. Um, out really quick. So that brings up Genesis everything that I would want for it. Uh, the only thing left was MAME and it turned out I had the wrong version of the ROMs and the version of MAME isn't all that great. The, the built the, the one that RetroPie was using before. The new one is the MAME uh, Pi MAME for all or MAME for all Pi uh, which basically is a version snapped back in 2000, but it's optimized for ARM. It's what the, you have on the iPhone and on Android for playing MAME games. Um, and so I found the ROM set that matches that version. Pretty much every game works, but there's all the games that don't work, it's known issues, they don't work. Um, but it means now, uh, I also found a script in the forums that actually gave it the real name, so I didn't have to go through the, the, the file names. Uh, I don't have any game art or anything, but I don't really care about that, so let me just, you know, the, one of the primary motivations for building this was, of course, to play some Pac-Man. So, start a Pac-Man. Um, there we go. I can add coins. MAME does all the rest. <laughs> uh, now, MAME isn't using RetroArch, so it has uh, different, uh, you know, it has a bunch of keys preset, and you can only change the keys in-game. 
so I basically, um, let me, uh, uh, bring up the, the menu. So the MAME emulator stuff, if you've never done MAME stuff before, you have to configure everything in-game. You can't just configure the config file by yourself. Uh, and so basically I had to go through and, uh, remap everything to use the keys that I, I had chosen for these buttons. Uh, it wasn't that hard, but it did take a while to, to, to go through and disable second player and third player and fourth player stuff because uh, some of those keys were being used by my joystick, so you'd be hitting one button and be really hitting the button for second player and all this stuff. So I basically had to reconfigure all of it. Um, and in my package of uh, configs, I have what I use, so it maps with my mapping. So if you use my mapping for the keys, then main stuff pretty much all works. You have the same button, the right two here to bring up the menu. Uh, escape here still lets you exit. Um, and, yeah, so if I go ahead and here, um, now everything works, uh, and the nice thing is that everything is, is optimized for ARM, and so everything runs fast. Uh, I've had some slowdown in some games, um, things like, uh, Metal Gear Solid, when you're, you know, fighting a bunch of guys, it, it tends to slow down a little bit, but, ultimately... Um, I can play Street Fighter 2 Turbo uh, without any problems. And I went ahead and I mean I had to remap the controls specifically for this game. Um, but I set it to free play and everything runs great. Um, so, uh, and of course the great thing about BAME is that now I also have, you know, uh, high scores, right? So I can leave this, and I just leave this on, on my desk at work, and people stop by, and, you know, different games on different days, people try to beat the high score or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much, I mean, that's... That's the primary reason for having the main stuff is that, you know, some of the more original games before they were ported to the consoles and so that high scores are saved. Um, and yeah, and the, the only other real problem with MAME is that since it's a version of MAME from 2000, uh, you, there's n games since then don't work. I, supposedly there have been added ones, but, and I don't know based on all the ROMs here, like which are the ones that, you know, the special ones that are from past 2000 that work, but, um, I was able to, to play through a bunch of stuff, you know, uh, without without any problems. I played through X from the arcade all the way through, uh, you know, for the first time, finally having infinite quarters. Um, yeah, pretty much everything everything works the way I want to with Mame and all the other emulators. There's nothing left that that bothers me other than that that initial sound issue. Um, and it's really not really a problem because it's only on the first boot and then I fix it. Um, so this gives me everything that, you know, you know, I could want to play at a nice frame rate. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's the update. Uh, I'll have the, the link in my blog with all the new config files uh, to get um, you know, have the controls working with MAME, and have six buttons in, uh, Sega Genesis. And, uh, oh, also the, the image file for the, um, to do the, the Picade boot screen. Uh, so, yeah. That's pretty much everything, of course. You know, one switch to power down. Alright, thanks for watching.